How do printers work? Printers, one of the most useful pieces of technology to have ever been built in the history of humanity. Printing presses allowed us to mass spread different texts around the world and were a major part in increasing world literacy. However, printers are used so often that we don't even consider how they work. In today's video, how do printers work, we'll be exploring just that. Stay tuned. Printers can be divided into two categories, laser and inkjet. They both function extremely differently. Let's start with the inkjet printer. It actually functions in the exact same way it's named as. A small jet the size of a hair shoots out a blob of ink, but how? This all happens in a few steps. The instructions from the computer tell the printer which nozzles to fire from to form a character. An electric current is passed through a resistor, heating it up and boiling the ink. The ink boils and forms a bubble of ink vapor, and eventually pops, projecting the ink onto the paper. The collapsing bubble forms a vacuum drawing in more ink. This whole process occurs for the rest of the jets. Most printers contain a DPI setting, which allows you to choose how many jets fire off. This increases ink usage, but also increases picture quality. The whole matrix of jets is held together on a slider, which moves rapidly and goes line by line. Next is the laser printer. The laser printer works in a completely different way. First of all, there is no ink involved in a laser printer, only a roller with powder. The instructions are sent to a printer where a drum is statically charged. The drum rolls beside a roller with powder attracting the powder to the main drum. At the same time, a negatively charged paper is passed under the drum, attracting the powder particles onto the paper. This is often why your paper comes out statically charged and very hot. The laser printer is much more simpler than the inkjet printer, and is cost effective as it does not use ink but rather cheaper powder. Now you know how printers work. If you have any suggestions or concerns, please leave them in the comment section below. Please like and subscribe if you learned anything new and would like to learn more. Thanks for watching.